pack of dimensional fours. Um, I'm at the Vegas region. Let's go, sheesh! And I'm here with my, I'm here with my friend Dylan. Yo, what's up? What's hey, up? Let's go. How are you guys? Let's get started. It's pack number one. All right, we got backup team. We got Warrior DJ. We got Heretic Champion, Jarring Gripper. Oh, we got a Star Coin Balloon. Oh, we got an Ultra Rare, the Wetter Painter uh, Moon Moon Bell. Whoa. And then we just got like a bunch of these common cards. All right, pack number two, you guys. Robert, let's do the profile. Alright, we got Je uh, General Proby and Purple Plan by Flip, I think. And then Dereon Boyan, backup team. And Kenshi, the Spear Road. I don't know how you say that. Bunch of these common cards. Pack 3. Alright, we got a B lane, reverse jar, um, legendary book, probably plan triant, navy dragon mech, and then we got one of these comments as well. Yeah, I added, uh, did you see the extra deck where there's all the stuff now? Two more packs to go. Because, uh... Yeah, I got it. I got it. Um, perfect is good, right? Alright, we got Heroic Challenger, Knuckle, War, War Rock, Medium, Tyrion Duke, Screw Claw, Alternative, Genji, Warrior Rock, Nidor Claw, I would say, I think you're gonna miss the second one. Alright, alright. And then this comment as well. Our last pack, you guys. Double master raid. Let's go. Um, uh, legend book. All right, challenger. Uh, knuckle sword. War rock. Uh, Darion. Oh no way! We pull a secret rare of Darion King. All right, all right, you guys. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. And uh, yeah, this is what it looked like, you guys. We got a bunch of people. You already know. Sheesh. All right, you guys. I'm gonna keep you guys updated through the rounds. That playmat looks so nice. Yo, I'm here with Mike. You already know. The head judge, right? Yep. Yeah, you already know. And then we got these wonderful YCS. Couple judges. People are signing up last minute. And yeah, so. So, what, what, what do you think? Last minute, everyone signed up and less than 100 players. Uh, I'm probably going to lose every match. Every match? <laughs> All right. For sure. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Leon, is that the Cali effect? Sheesh! No, I'm actually Team APS. Team APS? Dang! How, how you been, man? Uh, I've been all right, you know, just chilling with Trell and them, you know, doing the same old thing. All right, and we got the King of X3. X4. X4. And then we got some, the editor, the cameraman, and then Christian, and then some other people. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Oh, table two, I'm here with Robert, a.k.a. Vegas regional, you already know. I'm here with Cody, right next. What's up, man? Any thoughts? Uh, this regional is smaller than Hawaii regional, so anybody that clowns Hawaii, shout out to Vegas regional. Sheesh! All right, this guy borrowed my my card. Yeah. All right, you guys. So I just won round one. I play against player playing the new newer stuff, the invoke. Um, invoked uh, Omni Negate, so yeah, I'm playing Brendan LX game one. I want to die throw. I set up uh, the yellow got the 3000 defense, the Albaz one, and the uh, Mary Jane and back row sets. Then, uh, yeah, he couldn't do anything. I just stopped his Alistair. And then, yeah, so one game one, then game two. Just did some combo, and then I had evenly matched. I kind of missed what I should have used my Golden Order pop, and then I could evenly match. And then, yeah, and I kind of scooped it up because like they were like maybe uh, 13 or 15 minutes somewhere around the time. 
And then we went game three. After Brendan Fusion, he asked, I said, man, I was like kind of disappointed because I want to set, set up the whole combo. So I had uh, Solemn Judgment, um, I think Green, and then Elwen, and then uh, he just like did not draw too well. He just had Alistair in the gate. Um, yeah, able to negate with Ash, and then after that, set two back and the feud spell, the newest feud spell, um, the new from this new set, and then after that, yeah, and then I just have full control, curse element, uh, top deck, uh, the pot of prosperity, no, uh, extra, uh, extra after draw two after curse element, he kind of misplayed, he should have drawn the lock first, but um, yeah, I just called judge just to be sure, because I acted curse element, and then he said chain draw. Uh, unfortunately, he had to change after the resolution, so he was search, and then just tack tack, and then. I had a skill drain, a solemn, and then an infirm, and then he you know Malice and then just negate, and then he said, you got it. Alright, so there's seven rounds today, six more to go, and alright, I'll talk to you guys later. I'm here, D1 and only. Yo, what's to, up? Would you like to introduce who, who you are? You guys don't know the OG? It's me, your boss, Quiddy. Back again. Yep. Another video. Yep, Another you already chat. know. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love when you put your car upside down so like it make it faster to resave time, you know? And so, how's your day been, by the way? Good, bro. I didn't know you had a YouTube. This is lit. <laughs> true, lot. true. All right, um, thanks for you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. All right, you guys, so currently has an update. Uh, finished round two, got a free buy. My opponent did not show up. It was felt amazing. Feel like deja vu. Uh, long time ago, round one, uh, I got a free buy because no, uh, it was, um, uneven. And yeah, so it was a great, amazing. So seven, so there's gonna be seven rounds today. So five more rounds. So hopefully I'm able to make it. There were 82 players and we're getting a lunch break right now. So I'm currently, uh, uh, heading to a f food area to grab some food and then head back because we have only 30 minutes And yeah, alright, talk to you guys later. Alright you guys, so I just got some food. I got Subway, as you guys can tell. I got the steak and cheese one. I think I have like 25 more minutes before the next round start and Yeah, I'll show you guys what the, the food look like and yeah, alright, hopefully keep up the record really good because the playmat is really good. Uh, it's no longer the Dark Magician playmat. So it's going to be something else. And yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright you guys, I got steak and cheese. Look at that. Cheese. They look so good you guys. Alright, I'm going to start eating right now and I'll keep you guys updated. So you wait, you get your invite? Yo, I'm here, a bunch of people. Let's go. Chancy, aka Squiddy, yo. Wait, no, I'm at top four. Let's go. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Yo, I'm here with LC Yu-Gi-Oh, aka Chris. What did you do at the Vegas Regional? I want to win a match. Hey, and we're at Racing Canes, you know. Not, not just that, but. So when uh, someone says Flounder is bad, uh, obviously proof is not. Uh, yep, it is not, dude. That deck is so good. Oh, you mind? I'm um, holding camera. Flip, guys. Hey, not just Chris. One side I got top four, baby. Seven Regional round, not eight, not nine, not ten. Thank goodness I chose to play at the base instead of the Pasadena one and not just that um, this is my second top ever uh, last time was seventh place since six years ago and uh, yeah top four check this out guys look at that not just that and I'll, I'll trade this for that <laughs> and it's that box let's go Sheesh. all right your boys are more night two saying now Hope everyone have a wonderful day. So I'm just gonna do a brief summary. What was my matches? Unfortunately, I won't be revealing the deck um, that I made top four at the Vegas Regional. Vegas Regional was really fun. There were 82 players, I believe so. The reason why they were so small, uh, there's supposed to be 100 plus players, but there were like multiple regionals such as Pasadena that was in California, Vegas one, and uh, Harvard, and then in the East Coast as well. 
Um, I made the right decision, went to the Vegas one, because I knew for a fact usually it's 8 rounds, but I am not playing 10 rounds in California, because usually California is a lot of players most likely, but yeah, so I didn't regret it at all. So I'll tell you guys my matches right now. Okay, so um, these are the rounds. There were seven rounds. Uh, my record was six win, one loss. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go through the what I roll on my notepad. So I 2-1 invoked Knight. Um, he was playing the Ami Negate, um, the new set. Uh, game one, I set up my play. I had uh, Mary J, the yellow guy, and then a couple back rows, and then he normal Alistair, and then I let Riz off, and then uh, after the resolution, I just banish it. So one game one, then game two. Uh, I did misplay that I said in the video I should have activated evenly matched, but um, I didn't, and then I got destroyed by one of the Aminigates, so there were less time um, in the clock, so I say alright, then game 3, I uh, active Brandon Fusion, he Ash, I active Chris Ellen, Resolve, and then search, I believe, a Hakuro, no, con with Condisador, or uh, Hakuro, Hakuro, the 1800 um, attack um, trap. And then a Judgment, and then I believe I have an Ash in hand, and then something else. Um, and then after that, I was able to stop this play with the Ash. And then, yeah, and then I top deck extract, draw two cards, and then uh, I have to Chris Ellen, and then he chain draw. Unfortunately, you have to chain on the resolution. Um, that's how the um, that's how it's supposed to be um, used. So my opponent did misplay, but. Thank goodness, um, either way, if he um, didn't misplay, I would probably would still win. I'm not trying to brag. Uh, I had Steel Drain and Imperm, so it was very um, following place as well. So, good game um, to you. Uh, round 2, I got a 2-0 free win. Uh, it felt amazing, feel like a UDS champion. So, my opponent supposed to show us up, but technically, uh, he went to the wrong table. Um, I don't know how did that happen, but I'll, I'll take a free win. Um, anything could have happened. Uh, I believe he was playing uh what that's be a deck so i did prepare for that matchup but uh either way um end of day uh, i could have lost to him but i'm so grateful that i won then round three i lost to cyprus player he was a really good player uh game one um i won the dice roll and i believe i won or lost i don't know but uh i lost game one because like i opened rivalry the warlord i main deck three rivalry the warlord up against the despy because i'm usually prepared for the despy matchup most likely um, and then after that, um, I'm not going to tell some secret cards that I'm probably going to be using for national. So hopefully none of the cards going to get hit. I don't, I don't think usually, um, it's like three months. Um, so July is going to be down the corner. I'm going to be held at, uh, Chicago for national, I believe so. Um, I should be going. So if any of you guys going, let me know down in the comments. Um, if you guys want to meet up, come say hi. Um, I'd love to see most of you guys there. But yeah, and then game two, uh, I won with uh, anti spell. Uh, I believe anti spell or or some, some other trap, and then a Merrick Jane, and he said, "All right, let's go game three. In game three, he went, and then after that, he just like full combo. Um, I had I had uh, evenly match. I thought like like I would win the game because like um, if he make a insane board, I would just like evenly match. But unfortunately, he made the six K guy. The link, um, it's unaffected. It's like Clifford Tower. You guys remember back in the day, um, but yeah, it's really good. Uh, I tried to like saw him out. Try to um, kept on playing. Um, there were nothing I couldn't do. Even Super Poly or the the Albasta, the Fallen, um, couldn't um, contact Fusion because he's currently unaffected. So there were no way out. And my only play was trying to win in time, but unfortunately he did not misplay because I was tr trying to think that he probably misplayed, but. Yeah, congrats to him for getting second place, and I was relying on him. He was the only lost player, and thank goodness he won all the way because I tried to get that um, good tiebreaker. Um, but yeah, so round four uh, against Flunder, 2-1. Um, it was actually really cool. It's one of my friends, Justin. Uh, I met him at the Vegas Regional, so this is going to be the second time that we played. Um, so I got my redemption, but and I didn't here to have fun. Uh, I won game one. Um, I, I just had... Uh, just like a lot of plays I think I had like skill drain or something like that I won and then game two uh, he won and then game three uh thank goodness I call for a judge um I'm not gonna lie I've been calling judge like maybe four to like seven or eight times through the day I know that seemed a lot because I just want to be sure um because I don't want to get cheated and I just want to be sure that's the right ruling because uh people um in this community do um uh, sometimes she or like misread something or like ruling because 
we're not not gonna lie this game is super confusing like especially ruling um and some people say you heard do not read that's actually true <laughs> but yeah so it was really nice to judge um super nice if you guys ever have any problems or like curious about ruling you gotta play for that card first and you're not quite sure call for a judge always call for a judge if you feel like something wrong or you just want to be sure so you will learn from your mistake because other events um i i have to struggle and now i have to guts put my foot down and say all right i'm gonna call a judge just to be sure this is the right right ruling because like that can cost you the game a every little play can cost you the game um and then game three i just won because of uh, zombie world uh that was my only play and like i say man like i do respect the grind game like i say please do not draw your owls your cosmic cyclone or lightning storm or or something because that's usually um how you beat flunder is by um zombie world most likely um yeah it was really nice talking to you justin hopefully you watch this video i don't know uh, round five i played against another flunder i i told myself i meant i really want to play more flunder and i actually played three flunder um round four five and six so round five uh, 2 0, uh, game one. Uh, it was a weird play that, like, he opened kind of weak. Um, and then I was able to stop his play. Um, interruption, I think I imperm or like Ash, one of his cards. And then after that, uh, I had double the trap card and then a golden lord. And then he had Book of Moon. And yeah, it wasn't like a really good start in the game, too. I just won. Uh, I just had like the outs, like, insanely good hand and yeah and also i had zombie world but i was winning position anyways but always want to have a backup plan because you cannot rely on that one play um but yeah and then round six uh two one um a plant no uh flunder again uh game one uh he made a barrier stack jew with the penguin and then i believe he summoned um apex avion i didn't want to review the deck so i say all right am i allowed to break his board and then unfortunately i well, uh, couldn't um, I could try but I don't want to give enough um, knowledge so scoop it up side in uh, game two one um, with anti spell and a bunch of monster and then just going for a game and then game three uh, Skildren just had um, to seal the game um, if I didn't have that I had solemn judgment and imperm um, but he's a really nice guy and we played before so yeah um, if you're watching this Ivan uh, shall see you man you're a really good player like best flunder player i ever um seen like i saw your video you made a 30 minutes video like your build is really crazy um and then round seven i played this person before um only difference that it was edison uh, this guy's also nice um it was really cool uh he rolled a 10 and then i rolled 11 and then i, I was surprised like i i won a dice roll um so from there i lost game one because uh he had the one of the monster can attack four times so i looked at the clock uh, he do full combo um so much and i had like 26 minutes so i said all right i'm just going to scoop it up just trying to save time and then hopefully it can make a big difference and in game two one because anti-spell plus a uh, mirror jane and then a bunch of back rows and then he said all right let's go game three and then after that game three uh he went first uh i stopped his play ash and then I believe so and then after that he kind of break he said a back run and pass like i said holy moly no way this might be my opportunity because i also break as well um we both break so i drew double sanguine uh double um conducive how the 1800 both of them because i uh Hakuera, i believe the banish one at the pop and then after that my ending field was uh gamma driver yeah a driver of the gamma the normal vanilla a golden lord uh, and Alibur and Alibion and then attack for game and like just in case if he was stop, able to stop one play I had Nurse Sanguine because just wanted to go over that over 8,000 damage just to be sure so I can win game three and then end of the day I made top four uh, I was really nice people um I just had really uh, good experience and it's been a while I top this is my second top um regional uh, top four and yeah so i will be going to national this year i just recently bought my flights thanks to my sister if you're watching this i love you i'm not going to give out any confirmation um not not going to disclose any information um but yeah if you guys do go to national let me know i'm probably going to be playing the same list um probably some minor changes and this is my first time going out of the state um in the east coast so yeah, you guys made the video all the way to the end. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Your boy Cyberborn92 is signing out. Peace.